This is the Grotty Furia. It was just released today. And um, I have been testing the car on different tracks. And um, I'll show you just a minute how much it costs. Uh, if you were so unlucky that you pressed this video before anything else, I can just show you. Legendary Motorsport, Grotty Furia. Here we go. Since I haven't done the casino heists, I could only buy it for 2.74 million dollars. Um, and if you do the heists, you can take it for 2 million and 55 thousand dollars. Of course, we can see it here in pink. Um, yeah, great. So, customization wise, we can start with that. Uh, it's not that impressive, I can just show you quickly what we got. Like this and this is actually what we have back here canards of course but I, I did not like the canards on it to be honest and of course we got the, the weirdest modification I've seen in a while one single exhaust here well this is the this is the one I like the most if I had to choose between these ugly ass looking things that choose this one because it just looks well bigger I guess okay, here we got the hood which I do not like the design of if you see this black blacked out thing I wish it was carbon because it would look so much more you know like stable it would look so much better but and if you do this, you get the carbon, it looks even worse. So, I won't say I'm happy with that. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <clears throat> I choose the masterpiece of deliveries. And as you can see, it's not so much to be... It's, it's not that much to be like... You know crying about I mean like <clears throat> I'm sorry excited about because it's really nothing here I kind of like I like this one better I guess or no 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 and mirrors we got this which I'm gonna go for the carbon we got the roofs. I was hoping that we could make this into a convertible. That would be sick. Um, we got the side skirts here. Suspension, we can go all the way down, but um, since it's uh, gonna be snowy and winter soon, I'm not gonna do that. Not that winter and snow affects the car, but I like to, you know, have a... give the car a height, you know. It kind of looks better when it's snow and the car isn't like, you know, plowing through, you know. Yeah, and um, another thing I like I like to show you guys is that if you see here, they actually changed the off-road tires. It made them different, and I I did notice that for uh, like when it came out the DLC boy. I haven't made a video since then, so. Right. So that's the customization. I won't say the customization is a a okay. But it's okay. It's not... It's not crazy, but it's just, you know... It's just, um... Well... What's the word? Kind of boring. I'm not, like, expecting crazy things for, from a car like this. This seems like a really natural... Um... A very clean car in general, so I wouldn't put so much on it, like I have done here. I just have um, level 2 and everything, really. I don't think I'm gonna go with this color forever, either. I think I'm gonna change it to yellow, just, you know, make it look like a... More like a Ferrari or Apollo or something like that. Yeah, but I don't know which car this is in real life. If you do, then let me know. I kind of thinks that the back of this car reminds me a little of the Ferrari 488 
or um, well, it does not remind me of a uh, Italia four five eight four five eight four five eight. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, and the retractable wing or the spoiler on this car, it's um, it looks cool, but. I wish when I brake this, uh, you know, it would be an uh, air brake as well. Because I really do like what the Nero and the T20 has. The T20 is still the favorite car, by the way. So Rockstar hasn't changed that a bit. I still love the T20 more than anything. Because I just think it's such a... Yeah, it's it. this kind of reminds me of the T20, not only because of the spoiler, but... Also because, you know, like how clean the car is and, you know, but well, the more I drive it, the more the car, the, the, the how do you, oh, sorry, Jesus. <laughs> the more I drive it, the more the car, you know, like grows on me. I, yeah, you know, um, but anyway, performance wise, this car is not really that impressive I wasn't expecting much from this car but when I saw the price I got disappointed well I always get disappointed when I see the prices the Rockstar put out but yeah now you know how it is with the Rockstar and prices these days I can take a quickly history of it I just park here and if you still are watching this I should I hope you're paying attention because look at this if we go all the way back to 2013, when where where it all started in the first place, well, it's been many updates since then, I guess. Here we are. Of course, further down, but let me just take the most important. This is the first car I bought. That was when everyone got 500,000, a gift from Rockstar. So I bought this, I had 10,000 left and I worked to work my ass off to get this up, up, uh, upgraded. Then someone blew it up but I, and I didn't know how to get it back because I didn't know you could call Morse Mutual. So it took me a year to get this car back. I was a little boy back then so yeah, I wasn't exactly smart. But the thing everyone wanted was the adder. The car who costs a million dollars in GTA. Insane amount of money. Absolutely. So, as expected, people started modding, hacking, or even buying shark cards to get this car, as they did, while I was stuck wishing I had this car. But now I could buy six of them if I want. But that's because, well, you know how it is with money in GTA these days, you have to, you know, go crazy. You can't exactly always play by the rules either because uh, in my opinion Rockstar is the one not playing by the rules <sighs> um, as we move further up this was like or the cheapest uh, the most expensive thing you could buy in GTA that was the, um, the, the Titan the plane at 2.5 million or was it just two million dollars I don't remember and then we of course, the prices were uh, climbing, but still here, the, the prices were still good. Gratitude more R, 500, Centennial, 725, and here we go. Here you see the prices starting to get a little up, because here we get a vehicle that's not really good at $750,000. Not much later, at the uh, part of the ill-gotten Jane's gains uh, part one we get the Winster at eight hundred and forty five thousand dollars as a coupe which was not really good at that time still was beaten by the um, Cyan the coupe or the BMW should I say and our first supercar over one million dollars except for the Adder back in 2013 this was in 2014 or 15 I guess I think this was in 2014 because I remember, um, yeah, whatever. I, ah, I'm not sure I remember either. Or after all, so the Piazza Osiris at 
$1,950,000. Insane amount of money. So everyone was basically kind of shocked over this. People started, started buying shark cards like crazy. And that showed Rockstar what they could do. I can actually explain their tactic and what they have been doing since then on this little picture. Focus on the Progen T20 and the Pegasi Osiris. You can see the price difference is not that much. It's $250,000 um, that, um, you know, it's the difference between these two. The Progen is $250,000 more expensive than the Osiris and the Osiris is $250 less expensive than the T20. Well, you, you, you do understand my point on this, but I just want to focus on the price and the cars because if you don't, if you don't know this, this is their tactic. This was the ill-gotten gains part one where they released the Osiris and I think it was a month or some or a couple of weeks in between, they released this car, which is my favorite car, the Progen T20, at $250,000 more. So how much are 1.950 plus 2.2 million dollars combined? Well, it's $4,150,000 you spend on two cars within a month and since rockstar saw how much money they made by shark cards they thought this was a good tech tactic because the t Progen t20 only was a little better than the osiris at the time of course it has changed now they're nearly as good as each other because of um, rockstar is fixing things now and then um, but that's not the point back then the Progen t20 was a little bit better than the Osiris and a little bit more expensive so they saw how much money they made on it and uh, well if I scroll up further I can give you an, another example okay finance and felony okay I think there these also were drip, drip feed in. well as you can see here here we got our first car over to um, yeah. Here we got our first car over two point uh, or two point five million. And here we got the um, second most expensive car at the time. This is the Cunning Stunts. Well, they did not make the Cunning Stunts more expensive. Well. For the car seat total, yes, but you can still see what I'm talking about. Scrolling up further, here, here you can see they actually was a little bit more kind with the prices. Impressive enough. 880000 for a car which is so terrible in its class that even an LG RH8 would beat it. Here we got the Pegasi Tempesta which was the best car for its speed and price combined when it was released. This was the go-to car when it came out. And believe me, I have driven a lot of miles in this one. And this is just a tragedy. Everyone was hoping for it to be good, but it still sucks today for 1.6, no, 1.260, one whatever, Jesus. And here we get the, um, I think it's also today the best car for its price today I actually do think so and then um, yeah you can just see the prices keep on climbing and climbing and climbing and, climbing. and uh, the craziest part is what we have got here on top 2.8 uh, 2.75 2.74 which I used today on this car so you, you you see my point if you don't see my point then get the fuck out of here oh. so um is there much more to say about what they have done yes because did you know 
did you know that Rockstar is actually finally releasing something that I am really interested in and maybe a lot of other guys like me which likes to race not on stupid shitty stunt tracks but on real tracks where men drive yes you guessed it formula one cars open wheels extreme acceleration a sick amount of uh, traction downforce and holy fuck well i think i already know that these cars will demolish everything and anyone on the track I can't say the same for the top speed but when it comes to acceleration the amount of grip and um, well yeah the things that Formula 1 cars have I won't I don't think even the Emirates or the Krieger could beat them on my track the number green uh, so I'll be testing both of them when they release and um, We'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, goes from there if I got enough money, of course. Um, because these two cars, uh, we I think we've got the R88 and the PR4. I guess that were the name. I at least I I know that R88 is one of them, but I'm not sure what the name on the other one was. I don't remember. But I know the prices though. I think the R88 came at. Um, 3.1 million dollars so these two are gonna be the most expensive things on legendary motorsport if uh, that's the website there's there's gonna be released on or because I at least think so because I don't think they would release a couple of formula one cars on the South San Andreas so yeah so as I said previously the prices are just climbing and in the end a sports car will cost nine million dollars so, I actually forgot to talk about this car, but if, you st if you're still watching, which you probably are not, I'll just say thank you so much for um, joining me and watching as far as you have been doing at this point. Um, so, uh, a few more things. The performance, not that great. Customization, not that great. Looks, I think, it, I think it's really great. Um, the price, terrible. Um, and should you buy this car? That is the question. Should you buy this um, car right here? Well, you should not fucking buy this car. Not at all. Unless you're rich. Unless you have billions billions of money then you should buy this because I think it's fun to drive nice to look at pretty it makes a nice turismo like noise and um, yeah I don't think I have much more to say than that so um, yeah but would it be worth two million blank no um, performance wise or if you're uh, racing like me you're never gonna use this car against something like the Krieger or the Amorous you're not so um, yeah that's it um, for today I have to interrupt myself once, once more um, you should buy this car if you're not into races if you're not into races, if you're... Because the stupid things that Mr. Boss and... Uh, what, have, what the fuck is his name? Um, Sir Nando? No. Saints fan, oh my god. Jesus. Or Lisbeth Jimmy, or I don't know if he's doing car reveals anymore. But yeah. But anyway, anyway, let's just take Mr. Boss for example. He don't know shit about cars. He don't know a damn thing. So, um... So when he tests cars, he drives them in a straight line. And look at the price and say if you should buy it or not. That's basically what he do. 
or he's wasting your time and makes it go 10 minutes blank so he can earn a little more um, fucking dildo money on it. That's what he does. He uses you guys. He abuses you. Jesus. You shouldn't listen to that motherfucker. Yikes. So yeah. Um, you should listen to me because I know what I'm talking about. Or if not me, you should listen to Profi1332. I know it sounds like I have been sucking his dick for a while, but no. I'm just... I'm just saying you should watch him because he knows what he's talking about. He has great quality content. He he re posts daily and he um, explains it really well. He even shows us different clips of cars and prices and edits well. And well, I don't have any of that. Maybe I can explain something, but then I end up talking around it, and then I use 50 minutes or something. Well, I don't know how long this video was, but I'm I, I'm guessing it's well over 30 now, which was not the point because I when I was gonna end the video was well you heard what I said I'm just gonna talk around it right so when I said I was gonna end the video earlier I started to talk about something else and something else so that's my problem that's why I can't make videos like this because I talk too much. And it's too much for you guys. I've heard it before. So yeah. If you're not into racing. Then you should buy this car. That is my opinion. Because it looks so fantastic. And it drives great. It's really comfortable to drive in. And such. Yeah. But if it's good in races. Nope. If it were in the sports class. It would fucking kill your ass. I think. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Please drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And um, give me a suggestion if there are any play games you want me to play or something like that. I will listen this time. Because I basically got nothing to do this next two days. So make my time fly, please. So, Merry Christmas. Hope you are enjoying yourself. And why the fuck am I clapping? Time remaining before you get for an idle. Alright. Alright, your boy. Peace.